Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you around and showing you different trees um, in Tennessee. And this is just what I have, just in my little neighborhood. We have a lot of trees. Some are um, considered invasive trees. But I'm going to show you a lot of the ones that you, you will find in Tennessee, what their bark looks like, also uh, their leaf shape. And then if I can find the seedlings, um, I'll show you what the seedlings look like before they turn into a huge tree. So let's get to it. All right, here's our first tree seedling that I'm able to identify that I have um, in my yard. This is actually a acorn that's planted in the ground. Thank you, squirrels. This is from this is an oak tree. Okay, this is what it looks like. And I have these popping up all over my yard and my beds, garden beds, because the squirrels decided to plant a million oak trees for me. So this little dude can't stay here. He will eventually come out. But this is the first one. You see the leaves. That's an oak tree. Here's another oak acorn. What it looks like got the acorn attached at the bottom this is a nice mature oak this is a pin oak and here's the leaves this is what the leaves look like and this one is a pin oak leaf all right this little guy is a pine tree seedling Okay. That's what it looks like. And I have some massive pine trees. And I pull these little suckers out all the time too. Pine tree seedling. Here is some of the pine needles off my pine trees. I don't want, don't know what kind of pine this is. But what it looks like okay this is a pine tree pine bark I don't know what type of pine this is but this pine these pines are massive I mean massive these are only about 20 years old but they are they're very very big and this is where I find this is from the, the little pine seedling that I showed you. This is the tree it came from. I don't know if you can see the cluster right here. These are maple seedlings that I've been pulling out of my beds. You see the little ones right here, the seeds? That's what they look like. And this is what they turn into. But I'm not going to let them get any bigger because... I don't want them in there. They have to go away. But this is what the seed looks like. There's a maple seedling popping up that he can't stay there. See it? It's a maple seedling. This is a more mature maple seedling. Here are the leaves of my maple. There's lots of different varieties of maple. Mine's either a red maple or a sugar maple. Here's the leaf shape. Let's see if I can pull one off. Here's the bark on my maple. It's very, very old. It's a humongous tree. You see where the barks come off right here. It's got deep grooves. It's a beautiful old tree. All right, here's another seedling. This is actually a dogwood seedling. 
See the leaves? Okay, here are the leaves, what they look like on a dogwood. And you can see it's already flowered, so it's setting its seeds, but this is the leaf shape on a dogwood. Here's the bark on a dogwood. It has small rounds. Most of the dogwoods, especially in the south, are covered in, a lot of people think it's moss. It's actually, you now I've heard this say, said two ways, lichen or lichen. I've heard lichen, but some people say lichen. It depends on how you say it. But this is just from growth from when the tree was either stressed or had a pest or damage to it and the tree grew it. But it doesn't hurt anything and it doesn't... Um, do anything to the tree and you can actually peel it off but it doesn't doesn't hurt anything now this little guy I had to cut out from behind my greenhouse this is a hackberry tree and I have one growing in my neighbor's yard so I get it I call them trash trees I hate them in the fall they drop their leaves and they turn black and brown and they stain everything the worst things on this planet this is a hackberry tree okay i got a vine growing up this but this is the hackberry you see looks like little pimples everywhere that's the bark of the hackberry i can't really see the leaves they're really fine feathery looking i just found a tulip poplar seedling. That's what it looks like when it's little. It's the leaves on a mature tulip poplar. It's our state tree of Tennessee. I know they're throughout multiple states and they're beautiful. The flowers on them are beautiful. Okay. That's the leaf shape. There's the flowers. Okay, I had to zoom out, but you can't appreciate how big this tree is. This is the tulip poplar. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful tree. But this thing is, is huge and it has really deep, I mean, that's how deep the grooves go in this tree. And remember, if you're going to plant a tulip poplar, make sure you have enough room because they get huge and they grow fast. Another tree I want to show you is... A box elder. See the leaves? This is what the trunk looks like. It's a mature tree. And a lot of people, when these are coming up, the box elder trees, they're coming up in the spring. A lot of people. <coughs> thank you, chicken. A lot of people will mistake this for poison because it has three leaves. This is not poison, it is a box elder tree. Poison does not grow into a tree, it's a vine. So even though this kind of looks like poison, it is not. It's a box elder tree. Okay guys, so that's just a couple trees. We have a lot of different varieties of trees. That's just some of the most popular, like our state tree. And then some of the maples. We have multiple different types of maples. Uh, I think mine is a sugar maple. I might be wrong on that. But uh, maples, uh, silver maples, are really um, prevalent around here. They're just really weak. I hope that you can take this and see if you have any of these in your yard or be able to identify at least 
a tulip poplar and a maple and a hackberry and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys next time.